Hello everybody, my name is Faisal Imtiaz. I will be your instructor in this course. I am a PHP developer working in PHP for about 7 years and now I am teaching PHP and Laravel in my local institutes as well as online. You can consider my Laravel course on Udemy as well. Okay, I prepared some content headings for you that you can take an eye and see what I am going to teach you in this course. You can take a look at these free because this is an introduction video and I will go all of these one by one and describe you what are the basics of PHP and how you can use PHP language for creating a professional website. In this video I will install PHP in my computer and we will also discuss or see a little bit of syntax. Let's get going. Open any browser that you worked in. Open apachefriends.org website and this is a website of ZAMP package. ZAMP is actually a package which contains Apache which is actually a server and PHP language. Both of these things are necessary to run or execute PHP code. This will also, also install MySQL database in your computer. You need to click on this button if you are on Windows. If you are on Mac you need to click on this button and I clicked on it, you, it will be downloaded a package and I already installed that package this will be a simple installer after installing this package you will be seen I have installed in my developer directory and here is the ZEMP package when you open this folder you will see these set of files you need to double click on ZEMP control panel when you double click on it it will open this control panel and you need to let's stop these you need to click on these two buttons you need to start apache and mysql okay so these two engines are now started let's close this this will be running keep running inside here now php is successfully installed in your computer and apache server is successfully running you will see inside zem folder and htdocs folder double click on it and here is the folder where you want to place all of your PHP files yeah let's let's create a new folder that is called PHP 1 and hit enter go inside this folder and let's create a new file or PHP file I am using sublime text in my course let's create a new file and save this file as inside PHP 1 save it as test.php you need to save it with the extension of php in order to write php code inside this file save it now you can start writing php code okay there are some rules to write php code you need to open a php tag and close that php tag like this way now in between these two tags you can write php code let's print out something on the browser So I am printing out echo means print out something echo is a PHP command print out this text on the browser and this is a semicolon is a terminator letter uh, I have already described this detail in detail in the next video you can consider my next video for detail or use of semicolon okay so let's open this file in the browser you need to let's open this by copying this path and paste it here and hit enter you will see test.php here click on it and this is not actually executing this is just showing what whatever inside this that file but we want to run this file or run this code for running this code you need to do copy or cut this from the start to stdocs folder cut it and write localhost here now localhost means you already gone inside stdocs folder now after that you need to write the php1 or any folder you want to go inside. So I want to go inside php1 folder and test.php file. Now hit enter and you will see the php code is not showing on the browser but it is actually executing. So now hello world will be printed out. You can print out a complete html tags here as well. Like a complete html page. So it is now actually PHP echoing out HTML tags or printing out HTML tags.
okay so you have successfully installed php in your computer let's call a function that is called php info and then small brackets now reload this page it will show a complete information of php that is installed on your computer when i installed zem package it was php version 7.0.9 but the latest version is 7.1 i guess when you install zem it will be like 7.1 so these are all the settings that are being con configured on your computer you can always change these settings by going to php.ini file that is right here php.ini these all of these settings are actually appearing here so these are php settings and i will tell you in detail if you want to change any of these you can frankly ask me on comments on question section and Let's continue with the next video when we actually discuss or actually do all the programming of PHP. See you in the next video. Goodbye.